Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. With my wife and kids, we run an antique shop in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, filled with some of the most unique items we can find. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. I'm home, honey! Hi, everyone. Welcome to today's episode. I am stopping at the local Salvation Army thrift store to see if I can find any treasures today. Haven't been here in a little while. I used to frequent this place with my dad. We come here looking for records. And uh, in one instance, we did find an autographed Ray Charles record with uh, all the bandmates on it. It was a pretty good find. So who knows, maybe there'll be a good treasure today. Let's go find out. This looks to be Blue Mountain Pottery, if I'm not mistaken from that type of glaze. Uh, art glass, vase. You never know what sort of things. This definitely looks like it's out of the 80s. Look at the shoulder pads on here. Is there silver in there? Nope. Empty. Well, I'm gonna walk around a little and see. This is an older piece. $7.99. Kind of a nice decorative little dish you could use for almost anything. So there are some little treasures, look. If you're a mummy in need of a little sarcophagus, there you go. It's like nesting sarcophagus. No, it doesn't go inside, but that one does. Kind of neat. It's just a little decoration, though. We're going to try and find the most fun things we can. Let's see if there's any uh, any treasures here. You can see those tiny little lobster trap. This would have been um, just a little gift, something somebody made, probably a keepsake from a gift shop. Or did they made it themselves? Kind of neat. What does this cup say? Through pleasures and pubs we may roam, there'll come a reckoning when we get home. Yep, not so carefree when you get in trouble from your husband and or wife. It's an old looking snack set. Another fine anchor hawking product. Now, I always like to come and see what they have for stereo equipment because a good turntable or amplifier can sell for good money. That's an old Panasonic right there. As is, not tested, 29 bucks. But that's not gonna be a super high-end unit. You're looking for direct drive, Or some really belt drive. Records, of course. Sadly, many of the records you find at thrift stores are not the best, but there's some real surprises in there. Like I said, this is the same place I got an autographed Ray Charles album with the, all of his backup singers on it, which was pretty cool. Well, there's a classic for Christmas. Christmas with the Chipmunks. That's actually kind of neat. Everybody knows that song. Well, that whole album. Oh, let's see what else there is. DVDs aplenty. And they're getting, looks like they're asking a couple, a couple of dollars per DVD. Home decor. Looks like the type of thing I would have bought for my dad back in the day to put in his office. Because he worked in the film industry. Well, that's kind of crazy. That would have been a pretty funky looking table. You put a piece of glass on that. And I guess that makes like a uh, Black Panther sort of coffee table. What's the price? 50 bucks. That's actually kind of cool. I mean, you could put a piece of wood on it too. Do I need it? Hmm. I'm actually standing here seriously considering buying that giant Black Panther thing because it's just weird enough. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna look around. I might come back to that. Lots of furniture. You don't see antique furniture show up too much, 
But if you can find a good solid wooden piece. Ducks Unlimited. That must be out of a, like a, yeah, it's like a display maybe. That's where they had their till. Kind of cool. Steamer trunk with a uh, very specific price point of $18.39. Somebody would have bought it probably just for 20 bucks. That's actually not a bad deal on that. 1950s high chair, which is probably outlawed now because your baby's head could fit in between those bars. It says right on it, not for child use. Well, I'm sure not gonna fit in that as an adult, but who knows? I was looking for bar stools the other day. They say that they're 20 bucks. If you went to the store new, those are about a hundred and a half, something like that, for a solid wood bar stool. It's a good deal. I oftentimes stop. Ooh, somebody bought something over there. I stop and I look at the jackets because sometimes you find a really cool one. In this case, this is a leather motorcycle jacket, like an actual leather motorcycle jacket. You can tell from the zippers on the side, this means business. Um, it's not that old, but in the store, that'd be quite expensive. So I might actually pick that up. It doesn't have a price tag on it. I'll see if I can get a price on it. See if we can't bring that home. Little bronze statue. A copper looking ship. It's plastic. They really value these giant cats. 500 bucks for the pair. I guess if you need a pair of really big paper mache cats, I mean like four feet tall, where else are you gonna go to get them? Don't usually stop and look at the glass. Lately I have been though. That looks like an Italian, like something you get in Murano, Italy almost. It's not labeled as such, but when you're in Italy, specifically parts of Venice, they make these turn sort of art glass cups and sets, and they're quite expensive when you buy them. In fact, they throw them on the ground to prove just how strong they are. And uh, we saw the guy just whip one at the ground and it did not break. If that was marked uh, Murano or Italy, it might be something I'd pick up to bring back to the shop. But as it's not, I might just leave it right where it is. Of course, they've got what is labeled as a coach purse here. 29 bucks. But this doesn't feel real to me. It feels really inexpensive. So I'd say that's a coach knockoff. Look at me looking at the lady stuff. I'm learning slowly but surely what to look for. It's taken me a while. Surprisingly, some people actually collect cookie jars too. A little penguin for $4. And it looks almost like Santa's bag. That'd be fun to fill that full of cookies. Santa would fill himself right up. So yeah, four bucks for a cookie jar. Or one for holding your pie. Cute little things. More glassware, okay. I think I'm just about done. I'm gonna inquire about the uh, leather jacket here because I know that those are good things to have. Hopefully the price isn't too high. And I'm just kind of eyeing up the last of the little ornaments and tchotchkes <laughs> before I call it a day. All right, I think it's time for me to go pay. I kind of just found this and I thought that was kind of neat. The reason being, uh, we sell locally made tea at our shop and coffee. So I have a little tea department. So something like this might be nice to put just as a display on top of the shelf. It's only $7. I figure why not? I know it's not an antique, but you know, it's a sign that says tea time. It's gonna tell people what I sell. Oh look, the, t the chimes, they are a changing. 20 bucks for giant wind chimes. Okay. Now for real, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go log out and see what uh, what this all comes to. So I was able to get the basically brand new uh, men's leather motorcycle jacket and this little tea time sign for uh, thirty seven dollars. Um, the jacket, well, might actually give that to my kid. I've got two boys, both of which are gonna be on uh, two wheels come summertime, if all goes well. So I uh, want to make sure they're protected and a good leather jacket is just the thing you need. So, you know, a little trip through a store, a couple little treasures. Uh, still might go back for that Black Panther ashtray because it's so darn cool. <laughs> it's so weird, but it's cool, right? 
Um, but yeah, I think that's all for today anyway. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. This is just kind of a short one. Uh, you can check out our channel um, here, which you're already on, <laughs> clearly. Uh, or you can go to uh, Instagram at Curiosity Inc. Y-E-G. Uh, Y-E-G stands for Edmonton. That's our airport code. Uh, we just use it here colloquially to, to find Edmonton. But uh, Curiosity Inc. Y-E-G on Instagram or Curiosity Inc. on Facebook as well. But thanks again, guys. We'll see you all soon and bye for now.